Hi guys, okay, in this video, I'm going to be installing LINE because I've just upgraded my HDD to an SSD. So my hard drive, which was this, 500 gig, is now an OCZ 60 gig Agility 3 solid state drive. So I've made a bootable disk of LINE. So I'm going to be installing that in this video to show you how to do it onto a brand new SSD. So I'm going to put the disk in holding ALT. That should let us boot from the disk. I was holding ALT there, but you can also hold C for CD, and that'll boot from CD straight away. Okay, so finally, it's loaded from the disk. It took it about 10 minutes, actually, so it's just quite a long time. I wasn't expecting it to take that long, so I did stop the video and resume it for you. So now, I've got restore from Time Machine Backup, reinstall Mac OS X, get help online, disk utility. So I'm going to go to reinstall Mac OS X, which is set up and install a new copy of Lion. So continue. There we go, so continue. And I'm going to agree to the license agreement. My drive is not uh, showing up there. So I will have to... I'm going to have to do something to my drive first. So we'll just quit that. We're going to have to go to Disk Utility. Click Continue. Once you're in here, I can see my external drive, which is plugged into Firewire, which is the 1TB Lacy hard drive. And then there's also the 60GB LCZ SSD, which I'm going to partition. I'm going to partition it to one partition. I'm going to name it Boot Drive. I'm going to keep it as Mac OS X Extended Journaled, just to be safe. Uh, some people say that if you do it that as uh, just Mac OS X extended without bit being journaled it's a bit faster but I don't think it'll make that much difference so I'm just going to apply that and partition shouldn't take long, it's only an SSD and there, partition complete so now if I close out of that and go back to reinstall continue continue, agree I can now select my boot drive, which I just named, and it's now coming up as 59.68 gigabytes. So I click install. As you can see there, it says there's about 20 minutes remaining. It is going down. I don't think it'll take that long. It's going directly from the DVD onto the SSD, so it shouldn't take too long. Anyway, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so just let me know that the install uh, succeeded. It only took about 5 minutes for that procedure, even though it predicted 22 minutes. And I, pre I presume that's because it's an SSD and it's not an actual spinning drive. So now it should just start up into... There we go. That was very quick, to say the least. So, United Kingdom. Continue. British keyboard. So I'll just select my Wi-Fi network and put in the password. And uh, I'm not going to transfer any information over. So I'm just going to click Don't Transfer and Continue. Just put in my full ID. Okay, I've entered all my Apple ID information, my address and everything, so I've just got to choose a picture. I'll just go for a zebra. Continue. It gives me a little guide on how to use the magic mouse, but I already know that because I've had it on before. And there we go. I now have OS X Lion installed on here. I'm just going to swap the display, so I can just set these up. So this needs to go to 1080p, and I'm going to set up the arrangement. So this one is. If anybody wants to know how to do this, all you have to do is drag the little bar on the top onto the bigger screen, and then drag this one down to where it is on your screen. So I'm going to put it back there. I've now got a fresh install of Lion on the solid state drive. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.